There's a lot of things to do on Little Cities of Black Diamonds Day on Saturday, October 12, 2019. And one of them is actually not in Shawnee. Uh, you have the opportunity to come out here at Tecumseh Lake, you're behind me, and hike the Buckeye Trail and hike around and uh, check out Tecumseh Lake. And it kind of gives you a unique opportunity because you can come out here and really see uh, what the landscape looks like where a large-scale coal mining operation uh, was going on several decades prior. Um, and as you can tell, looking behind me, you wouldn't really know that looking at it in the 21st century, that that actually happened. Um, so while this is a unique perspective, I also want to point out uh, something kind of interesting that maybe you haven't thought about. And that's while you're driving to Shawnee, and whether it is for Little Cities of Black Diamonds Day, or really any of the little cities within the region, uh, year-round. Pay attention to where you're at, because obviously you're driving through, no matter what direction you're coming into the region from, you're going to be driving among the hills and valleys and heavily forested areas, at least now. And if you come during October or during the fall months, you're going to really see some really beautiful uh, colors from the trees changing and the leaves falling and such. But Keep in mind that it always, it didn't always look like that. Uh, say several decades ago, back in the mid 20th century and well into the, um, going back to the late 19th century, all of these hillsides were pretty much deforested, just wiped clean. And the reason for that is, is because there needed, there, there was a need rather for a lot of wood and timber in order to actually build Shawnee, which is just over the hillside from um, from me and behind the camera here, but also to prop up the uh, interiors of the coal mines. Uh, you know, they, they needed the uh, heavy timber and large timber to actually line the shafts so that they didn't collapse on top of the, the miners themselves. So there's a heavy need for the, the timber and plus to clear cut to access the coal veins deep underground. So there's there was a lot of uh, trees, the vast, vast majority, rather, of the trees and the forest cut down and pretty much wiped out. That's why, for example, if you look at an old photo, say of Shawnee, or really anywhere in southeast Ohio, around the Hawking Valley, you'll notice that there are very few trees around. And the hillsides, if you can pinpoint uh, by looking at these pictures uh, and try and pinpoint with the way it looks now, where it was taken, you'll find that it was on top of hills that are probably heavily forested now. And you will not be afforded that opportunity to see the same perspective as, uh, as the people maybe say a hundred years ago or more taking those pictures. And that's because really uh, the landscape has rebuilt itself, has rejuvenated itself over time. And so I wanted to point that out because it's something that you may not think about uh, as you drive, as I said, to Little Seas of Black Diamonds Day if, if you're able to come and join us or any time of the year really, whether there are leaves on or changing or whether it's summertime, it doesn't really matter. Just always keep in mind that when you're driving around the areas of you know, Eastern Hawking County, Southern Perry, uh, Western Morgan and Western uh, Athens counties, keep in mind of what was going on around you several decades ago, 100 years ago, 120, 30 years ago, keep in mind of what was going on and that there were people living and working all around you, even though that you may not see that today, but realize that that was heavily present here many generations ago.